masmiya mamla utkan ka make rakin bi minan nan mat rakin tujual aramas ka kan patuan aral ko ko po para par dikirai kan mak mak ansa wo chola pe gil light chola ne pe pe o chola ra ra ansa un karata nan mat o chola To be honest, uh, I know the fish are smaller. I know that it's, and it's just within my lifetime and I'm only 26, you know, if it takes less than tw like 25 years to see that change, you know it's not heading to, uh, you know, it's not heading in the right direction. Fishermen are now fishing twice as much for half as much fish in terms of the weight. Um, and if you think again back about the communities and what that does in terms of the impact to them with rising prices of everything, fuel and rice and everything else, um, that's a pretty big deal. That's a, that's a huge deal. years ago on this island, I mean, um, they, they knew not to take too much, they knew not to take small sizes, they knew when to fish, they knew where to fish, they, they, uh, they didn't overfish, they, um, they, the reef was divided up into who fished where and the master fishermen were basically the only ones who could fish on the outer reef and the kids and the younger uh, fishermen and the women fished inside. And, you know, it kind of went kids, women, younger fishermen, older fishermen in terms of distance from the shore. Um, so there was a lot of knowledge, local traditional knowledge about fish. We have about 22 protected areas or marine protected areas within the main island and of course the outer islands of Pompeii, uh, including Anten Paquin. There are about 18 and uh, we've seen that fish are moving both inside the MPA and more fish are, uh, you know, we're seeing more fish outside of the MPA, which is, a, that's, which is the main purpose of the MPA is to you know, for the fish to uh, pop, repopulate in the protected areas and hopefully uh, spit out, uh, we call it the spillover effect, where uh, we can see more fish outside the marine protected areas. Uh, too. Now groupers are, all groupers are banned in March and April. But as far as we know, only three species are spawning. And even if they're not spawning, they're the only ones that, that aggregate, gather in large, large numbers and have that thing where they're 
not laying eggs until the very end, and so they're very, very vulnerable to overfishing, which is why we've seen the populations decline. ก็ตานกมมะลามะนกใจเจ้าก็ว่าตัวกระชุมบงอ่าอีเอ๋อมันอีกกามีเนี่ยมันกันกระไกรกระจัดมาก็ว่าตัวกระชุมบงกูจะ
that's when merit comes in and we just uh, we harvest them at this age so it gives more space and more support to others on the reef so the reef is growing as much as it can and us merit we're taking them and we're growing them so it increases the total number of survival of the this rabbit fish so it makes sort of makes use of all all the rabbit fish we can so yeah, so right now we have um, three cages that we've built and these cages are trials. We just started, so they're still very small. But once we're comfortable and we see a success in the survival of this fish, then we'll start teaching them how to catch them and then provide the, the, the fish cages for them. And then, yeah, we'll just give it to who's interested.